Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I make plant-based recipe and lifestyle videos along with DIYs here and there. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing and liking this video. So today we're going to be going over the first video of our Get Your Life Together Challenge inspired by Eileen on Lavender's channel. We're going to be going over our night routine. A few months ago, we went over my morning routine and today we're going to be going over our night routine just because I believe it's very important to have both of those two together in order for you to have proper sleep. Um, if you watch Rowena Sai's channel or even listen to Shalene Johnson's podcast, she talks about um, prepping everything as much as you can at night so you feel more motivated in the morning to do things and they also talk about having a decision threshold. Basically what happens is we have a decision threshold that we have every day and once we hit that threshold we become very impulsive so it's very beneficial to do as much as you can and eliminate as many decisions that you make in the morning so it's kind of goes a little bit more easier and you're more motivated to work or to get things done in the morning so if that's something you're into keep watching the first thing I do when I get home is generally just tidy up. This consists of usually just vacuuming and putting all the dishes away. I just like to have everything clean before people start coming over and before we start eating dinner. After that, I'll start prepping our celery juice. I don't do this in the morning anymore just because I'm trying to eliminate the tasks I do in the morning and they say prepping at night um, as much as you can, like your clothes, everything, and even like you're planning your day um, helps you you be more productive in the morning so that's why I do that and then I let my dogs out Ace likes to cuddle up in these blankets because it's cold but I let the dogs out twice when I get home right when I get home and then again at night and then I'll also feed and give them water on this particular day they needed a bath so we gave them a bath and Elmo is getting so old once we got done with their bath, I will just disinfect it with some bleach and then Ryan usually gets home around 6, so around 6.37 we'll make dinner. And we ended up making bunseo this night. I have been craving bunseo like no other, like it's delicious. It's just basically a crispy crepe. Um, it, I used to think it was eggs, but it's not eggs. It literally is just like rice flour and turmeric for the color. If you guys want this recipe, I can definitely make one for you guys so you guys can make this for yourself. Um, just let me know in the comments and I'll do that for you guys. But yeah, this is my vegan version of it. So again, let me know in the comments if you'd like this recipe. Once dinner is ready, we'll bring this to the table and eat it family style. I like eating it this way because it just kind of reminds me of how we used to eat when we were little and it was just more intimate this way. Once we're done eating, we'll just clean up and lately I've been trying to reduce the amount of water I use when I do dishes. After we get done cleaning, I'll just get ready for bed and I usually like to take my showers at night. Just again, trying to eliminate everything I do in the morning. I actually only do my skincare routine at night and right now I'm using Mary Kay's Botanical Effects which my skin has been really enjoying and then I'll scrunch my hair with some flax gel and this just acts as a mask for my hair when I go to sleep and then I'll pull out my planner. I just knock off everything I did that day and I'll go through my habit tracker and even plan for my next day so I'm productive when I wake up the next morning. And to wind down, I like to end with a book, um, some journaling, and even smoke a bowl because if you know me, I enjoy me some ganj. But I just finished The Alchemist and A Great and Terrible Beauty. And to journal, I'll just pull one of these animal spirit cards that Ryan actually does with me every once in a while. And I'll just pull a card, I'll read about it and reflect on it. And I'll just write about it in my journal and I usually actually timestamp everything because I like having that as a reference. Um, if I do all of that before I get go to bed, we're usually just watching TV or we're browsing on our phones. But I generally like to be in bed by 10 or 11 at the latest. Obviously that doesn't always work but... The very, very last thing I like to do before we actually get into bed and sleep is pull out my productivity app and knock off the very last things I did. And I like to listen to manifestations while I go to bed or while I sleep. So right now I'm listening to this Visualize and Manifest Anything by Rising Higher Meditation. And it's been pretty interesting because I've never visualized before. But yeah, that's how I like to end my nights.
So yeah, that's literally what I do every single day to provide me some structure in my day. Even if I have to stay up at 1 o'clock to do it, I'll still do it. But thankfully, the latest I had to stay up so far is 12 o'clock. Um, but yeah, that I just wanted to provide you guys with the most real morning routine, evening routine that you guys can see that I implement in my day that has helped me be feel more productive, more motivated, and also have better sleep just because now that I'm doing most of my stuff at night, I'm no longer thinking about what I have to do in the morning. It's already planned out for me and it's already prepped for me and I'm no longer thinking about things before I go to sleep because I've already jotted it down I've already planned it and all that stuff so my body my mind can go to sleep just like my body can and it can go to rest and if you guys I hope you guys find some inspiration or find this motivating for you guys to implement an evening routine into your day because I seriously think it's one of the most beneficial things you can do for yourself if you want to feel more productive and just have more st structure into your day and your mornings and things like that because they say adding morning routines or just routines in general will help you be able to do make more time for other things in your life and if you guys do have an evening routine or even are thinking about implementing an evening routine I'd love to hear it so leave a comment down below because we're all different we all have different things that help us so it's always interesting to see what everyone does and like always I'll put a link down below so you guys can sign up and get notifications for this get your life together challenge all you have to do is of course just enter your email address and anytime I post a video about this get your life together challenge you guys will get a no notification straight to your inbox so you could just click it and check it out and then you can just be part of this get your life together challenge the next get your life together challenge video is going to be habits and self-care so we'll be going over that in the next get your life together challenge video and as always i'll see you guys in the next one see ya